Hello everybody, I am Kyler St. Jr. and welcome to Uncharted Remaster Part 7. Welcome to the one of the other crappy parts of the game. Labyrinth puzzle solving. Oh Jesus, where do I even begin? Ugh. This is an, it may take some time, but I'm going to try and entertain you guys with some commentary, something that I had on my mind. But before we start moving, I want to give a shout out to the Stealth Ripper. Here you go, his uh, name's right here on the screen, but go subscribe to him. His link's in the channel below. Please go do it. We need support for everyone I shout out to because love is important. Can we just get this game started? Last time we left off, we ditched Sullivan because he was not quick enough to get through the trap door. Because the lad Elena stepped on, so it's just me and Elena from here, and hopefully he's a, um... Oh, great, we gotta use the book, so hopefully... Okay, so... Okay, remember the Roman numerals, 2, 5, and 7. Those are the important ones, especially 7. Because Final Fantasy 7 will be coming out soon. I'm bad at jokes. Um, Alright, 5, uh... Yeah, yeah we're gonna go, we're just follow the Roman numerals, what? There's nothing significant. Okay, that's three. Nope. No. No. Yep, going up here. Remember, so I guess it's not too bad. You just have to follow the Roman numerals, so... Uh, I guess to the sake of entertaining you guys, or to get to some uh, lovely commentary, um, I want to talk to you guys about... What's this? Two... Oh, great. Get this... Eh. Come on, Nate, you can pull it. Alright. So, how many. So, alright, so we got this little spin. So, how many of you guys have jobs? Just quick questions. So, I currently work as a server at a Japanese restaurant, and servers have a rough with making money. So, how I make my. So, my wages are $2.50 and then plus tips. So, basically, I get a really shitty paycheck, but that just comes with the job of being a server. So, a majority pay, uh, payouts, majority of it comes from tips. And then we just get a little bit of money for checks on the side. So, so this this will connect. So I had to go grocery shopping today because I needed food. I, ooh, I almost glitched out. So I had to go to the grocery store. Um, I actually had to, I actually went on the commissary, which is like the military grocery shop, and that's where I do a majority of my grocery shopping whenever I need to go. And it's also cheaper since my father was a form, it was a, well not former military, but he was in the Marine Corps. So I had a so I have a military ID and I can pretty much get on base and I can go food shopping there. Plus it's also cheaper and you don't have to pay taxes there. So as soon as I finished paying, as soon as I finished, I got all the food I needed. <laughs> I got my food. I carried it out to uh, we both carried it all out to my car and I and um oh my god. We walked into my car, we put all the groceries away into my into my car and usually uh Usually you're supposed like for good service you're supposed to tip. Anyways, we go out to my car, get out to my car, we put all the groceries away, and usually you're supposed I usually tip them cash because that's because the thing the volunteers who care at the grocery store who, who um who care at the groceries for you they do not get paid their volunteers so anything they make it's pretty much all tip money like you pay like when you when people hand out but anyways I didn't have any cash on me so. What I did, um, I asked the person, uh, I asked the young lady if she liked if she liked Starbucks. I'm like, yeah. Okay. Um, I didn't have any I didn't have any cash for me, so I offered. So I said, hey, I asked her, hey, do you like Starbucks? She said, she was like, yes. Well, here's I have two Starbucks gift cards. One has 11 bucks remaining on it, one has 10 bucks on it. That'll be that's pretty much a tip. And she said, oh, that's better than a tip because she because she likes Starbucks. So. I, it's just, it's really, it's just quite common courtesy for me because, you know, these are volunteer workers, you know, and they're doing, and they're volunteering to carry groceries on their own free will, and, you know, I want to compensate them for something because it's, for me, it's just the right thing to do. So, so, oh god, what am I gonna do about this? Let's see, I don't go up. Okay. Like, all right, anyways, so, so how did, all right, so, so, I mean, I pretty much, I gave her the gift cards, and then I walked up, so what does that do with serving, so, um, let's just go, so I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to one night when I was, ser when I was serving, um, three ladies come in, and I think a majority of them, mm, I think a majority of them all got teriyaki chicken, and then, as soon as I, as soon as I bring them out, my boss at the time, um, she told me that I needed to go do some, do something else, and, and it's really hard for me, and it's like, and it was like, really hard for me to go back and check on because she kept telling me to do this and that, this and that. I mean, 
And as a server, as a server, I always, you know, want to check on the customers, see if their food's good. You know, if they're not, take it back or something else. Blah blah blah. I just want to make sure everything's fine. So I couldn't necessarily check. So I couldn't necessarily check on this table because I was multitasking uh, with different, you know, objectives that I had to do. They finally called me back over. Um, they, were, they were like, "Oh, this food didn't taste really good. Can we? Can you like give us a refund or some?" Well, here's the thing. They pretty much ate a majority of their food. So. If here's the thing, if you eat like if you eat pretty much all everything like on the plate and there's like a little bit of food left on there, sorry, we're not giving you a refund. It's just not happening. You pretty you pretty much consume that whole plate yourself. Now if it was just a little bit, yeah, we probably would have probably give you a refund and probably get you something else. But in terms of you know the situation, uh uh no. I brought their I brought their bills and then um, and then they asked for boxes like to box up the food. And I completely forgot about the boxes as soon as I brought up the, you know went in there swiped their cards and. Pretty much got, and pretty much, and pretty much, you know, sent them on their way. What was the thing? They left, so obviously they left me no tip because apparently it was a shitty server. I mean, I wasn't trying to be, it was just, you know, that I had to do, I was forced, I was kind of forced in a situation where I had to do multiple tasks. So, I, um, so, so no tip, and then one of them left the food in the box, but they left a cute little message on here. I don't have the image of it, sadly, uh, I used to, I used to have it, but since I got my new phone, since I uh, cracked it with my knee, that was uh, they left a cute little message. I didn't, I don't have the message anymore. So, but it was like, uh, fuck you, sorry, hashtag sorry, not sorry, or whatever. I don't, I don't remember, but I was trying my, I was trying my hardest. I mean, you know, it's really important to, it's always important to tip your server, in my opinion, because, you know, they have, they got bills to pay too, and you know, if they have like one, like one crappy night, then yeah, that's uh. It's not gonna benefit for them in the wrong, in the long run. Okay, we made it finally. Ooh, quick time events. You're okay, yeah, but now I have to go a completely alternative route. But anyways, I believe it is always important to to tip your server because. They got, remember, they got shit to do too. I mean, they got bills to pay too. They want, they want needs and, you know, necessities they need to buy to survive. So. So my tip, so here's my tip of when you're, if you're serving at a restaurant, just, just be polite to the customers, you know, there's, you know the saying, the customer is always right. Just make sure you do your, you know, your best interest to, Serve the customer correctly, and, um, and, yeah, sir, serve your customer, yeah, sir, serve your customer, treat them with respect, treat them as if that, treat them as if, you, if you're welcoming them to, like, welcome them to, welcoming to their house, in a way, like, you want to make them feel right at home, you want to make them feel safe, then you want to make them feel like you're in an environment where it's safe, comfortable. Just because when I tip when I tip that girl basically the Starbucks gift cards, I thought you know it's always important to tip. Some, it's always imper important to compensate, you know, because they got sometimes you know sometimes a small amount of compensation can mean a lot to someone. But we need to, all right. So we need to get this gate open. We need to find a way how to get Elena over here. Uh, we need to do something. I know that. Up the chain we go. Well, we got the gate down. We can continue moving forward. We just saw a really strange anonymous figure. It wasn't a silhouette or anything, so yeah, that. All right, remember follow the Roman numerals. So if you need to, if you need to remember, it's two in this part, two, five, and seven. Those are the Roman numerals you need to follow. So it wasn't that hard, but I just this is just really long and tedious to get through. And the explosion, ladies and gentlemen, we got more bad guys to take down. So, oh, it's Eddie, that snarky little bitch, she's back again. We gotta kill, get rid of him. Well, you found the gold? Uh-oh, looks like we're in a pickle. Uh-oh, look out. Kill them both. I'm warning you. Okay, so now we got more difficult part. Oh, yep. What I was getting to right there. Shoot him in the arm. Ah. Ah. I'm going to strangle you to death. Come on. No, I'm not. I'm not here. I'm just gonna hide behind this pillar so you all won't catch me. Uh, if I get luck. Hey, run away! Uh, blow my cover. Uh, do! 
I'm going to strangle you to death. Suck shotgun. Got him. Okay, and there's a grenade launcher up there too. So I think what I need to do is hopefully get rid of him. If I can aim a proper headshot. Nope, that wasn't the proper thing to do. Okay, well that guy just blew up his own guy. Good job. Grenade launcher guy, 100% real, yo. All right, got him. Well, I took him out. Now we can take care of his other two croonies. Got him. Nah, missed him. Go. Go. I'm gonna punch him to death. How about that? Go, do, 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 do. Punched him to death. We can move on. And what? There's another one? Are you kidding me? This is turning into a really crappy day, but I need to get rid of him regardless. Air grenade launcher is no match for my pistol. I think I need to pick up another one though. Uh, M4. Nope. Nope. Uh, yep, here we go. Reload. Let's keep moving forward. Okay. Ah! More! What is with everybody in grenade launcher? Seriously. Okay. I need to just run over. Punch him. Yeah. There we go. Got some more. There's another guy. Okay. Another guy with a grenade launcher. If I hide behind these staircases, I should be fine for right now. But I want to aim properly. Okay. We can get him. I don't care if I'm not aiming for the head of this guy. I just want him down. Down and out. That's what I need. Okay. Come on, later. We'll get you down. Alright, there we go. Ladders are down. Elena can get up and we can move on. I think. Ooh, grenade. Should I use this? Uh, wait. Oh, we'll use this for right now. In case we need any more. We need to take down any more smoke. Okay. Get down, get down. Okay, we're gonna get down for right now. And that was a bad idea. Ooh, wait, what? That didn't kill him? Close range grenade launcher did not kill him. Seriously, that's three shot. Okay, let's try this guy right here. Okay, okay, so I just wasted three, I just wasted three of those just to kill like one guy, one, two guys. So this game is like telling me to be careful and use my surroundings to make sure that I don't intentionally screw up. Like, okay, there's another grenade launcher over there. I need to figure out where he's firing from. I think I see him with my little, tiny little thing. I don't know. Where is he? I mean, we should be going the right way. Oh shit, there, he's over there. I can get him. Not put the damn grenade launchers. Like, really? Seriously? Okay. I don't think so, sir. Thank you, Elena, for the help. We can move on. That way we need to go down. Uh, let's take his gun real quick, because I'm out of bolts for the grenade launcher. There we go. Uh, nope. We're not going that way. Remember, 2, 5, and 7. we follow those numbers and you'll be fine. Just keep going upstairs. Let's see if there's any cronies up here. Nope, we're good right now. Uh, any other steps? Nope, not right now. Oh dear. Oh, this part. I remember this. Oh, I'm getting a text. Enjoy the cutscene. There's nothing here. This is getting so old. Nate. It's Drake. Woo! We found him. Bum, 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 plot twist. So French is checking us phony all along. Get the news, get the news. Get the, get the ca oh, the camera's gone, that's right. The camera's gone. So much for greatness. Shh. There's more, maybe there's more to it. His life. For nothing. You might want to pick that back up. Nate, are you ready to get moving? Okay. All right, we need to take the model six heart of the vault chapter 17. All right, so we need to get out that way 
Come on, Elaine. Are you calling her fat, Nathan? That's pretty rude. Looks like an old hoist or something. Hoist? I'll hoist you up. <laughs> I am Cornholio. I need to keep it for my bongo. I need to keep it for my bongo. <laughs> uh oh, shit. Eddie! No? No. Oh god, no. Jesus Trapped. Hello. Gollum? Is that you? Ladies and gentlemen, Gollum is. Oh dear. Let's get out the shotgun. Maybe it's be a lot better with the shotgun. Shotgun! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. No, 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 no. Can I not use the damn shotgun? Okay. All right. Ah! See you later. Ah! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, do not punch these things because they are pretty good at... Well, oh, I fell. Ow, bitch! I forgot what these things were called. I know they are. They were important. They're important to El Dorado. I know that. Well, that was unfortunate. We still got more to take out. I know that. Just keep running around. Got him. Always trust your friend the shotgun. The shotgun is really helpful in this situation since it like one shots them. Well, as long as you're close, obviously. Come on, Elena, we need to get out of here faster, please. I don't want to be stuck down here with these mutated freaks. Well, I got lucky there, so. No! You gotta take me! I can't die! Whoa, shit, he did like a backflip. Good shooting, Eddie. Okay, we got him. Oh. Cuño. Eddie. Nice going. Yeah, don't be caught. Don't get too cocky, kid. That's what Han Solo said. Hold on. We're coming to grab you. Ooh! I'm not sure how much longer I can hold off these things. Oh. They, I can't hold them off much longer. There you go. I'm not part of your damn business. Ugh. I'm also running out of shotgun ammo too, so that also accentuates the problem. It's moving? Can I get down? Where's the ladder? Oh, the rope. Okay, go. Climb, climb. Go, go, go. I can't let these creatures rip the rope. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Just hang on. We're just running. We're running and gunning. Go, go, go. Lock him up. Lock the door. I don't know. I don't know. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Nate. Okay. Yes. Nate. What? Where are we? We're in hell. Not sure. Hopefully they can't get through that door. That's what I'm assuming. Let's watch the cutscene. Wow. And by that, I always get hold of my phone. Nate, come here, look at this. Mm -hmm. 
So they found it. They must have broken into the vault and cleared it out. Yeah, but what's the monastery got to do with it? To everything. Monster has got to do with everything. Just know that. Maybe. In time. We'll see. Ha 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 Nazis didn't pay anything back in the 40s. As Hitler once said, Nazis, as Nazis don't have to pay bills, as long as you're part of my my assault, as long as you're 5'11", have blonde hair and have blue eyes, that's how you get into my Reich. Not without practice, no you're not. Okay. Let's jump to the pole. Chapter 18, The Bunker. And that's where I die! Stupid. I got stuck on this part for like a few minutes. I realized, duh, I gotta go up. Of course, I'm an idiot. Alright. Jump over here. Up there. These rusty old pipes. I hope Nathan doesn't cut himself while he's on here. Otherwise, he's gonna have to go to the hospital. Not gonna lie, that's very nasty. But Nathan has some pure balls because he's an expert in the world of parkour. You can't tell him otherwise because he's a treasure hunter and he will do the things that you won't possibly do. All right, I know this pipe's probably gonna break off at some point. See, like I said, that is a fancy U-boat. Maybe I should, like, I don't know, maybe torn one, like, see what a, what a German U-boat was lo look like, you know. There, are, there actually is a film, there, there's actually a film about um, one of the, a German U-boat. It's very, it's very famous. It's called Das Boot. It came out in 1981. Uh, I have not seen it yet, but I'd like to see it because it's, uh, it's, like, historically, like, one of the most accurate films about World War II, like, the Germans and the U-boat specifically. I'm not sure, like, the story behind it again, but... Oh, I remember this part was kind of scary, to be honest, because you're trapped in there with those creatures and everything. So, yeah. Ooh, MP40. Ooh, we're using 1940s weapons this time, so be just be alarmed. That's what we're going to be using. And just screw the shotgun right now. Another shotgun is very helpful in this situation, but... Shit, I remember this part being really scary when I first, like, like attempted to go in here, so... Oh, uh, yeah, this place. This. So let's go ahead. We'll pick up, like, all the... all the. I'm going to pick up all the ammo I can for, like, right now. Okay, so 105 is the max for this weapon. Right here. Ooh, don't want to mess it up. Okay. So... Uh-oh. Remember, take them out with German weapons, because that is the most effective. As long as I shoot him... Maybe if I shoot him in the head, if I go a little faster, that'll probably be more efficient. That way I can conserve a little Eh. Like, I, when I first played this, like, it scared the absolute shit out of me. Because I didn't know, like, where I was going. Eh, uh, see? Okay, um, let's keep going. Get some more MP40 ammo. I just want to check if there's, like, any treasure back here. Oh, well, there's more ammo. Goody. Ugh. Poor guy. Oh, good lord. Oh, there's more. You weren't very smart enough. Okay, should we... Um, for now, should I grab this or should... I think I'll grab it on the way back. This is like out of a horror movie or something. This is horrific. Um, both of these... Places are dead ends, but we gotta pursue. Oh, here we go. Found it. I didn't turn. 